Hello and welcome to another tutorial for our health scene. Today I will show you how to create the geometry elements for the scene. A closer look to the reference screenshots shows us the following geometry elements. The main plateau leading into the scene, the way forks in the center and is rising to the sides. In the background we see a basin and some mountains in the mist further back. We also have these black pillars with the lava falls in front. You can see these spikes or solidified lava. In the foreground you can see detailed lava cracks. And at the sides there are some smaller lava falls. In my scene I replaced this detail with a simpler solution. We start with a simple spike. The edit mode reveals the simple geometry. I show you how to model the spike. We start with a cube and set three loop cuts in edit mode. Select all faces on the top and press M and choose the option Merge at Center. Scale the loop cut in the middle and slide the vertices to a more round shape. You might want to extrude the form from the faces at the bottom for a bigger and longer spike. Activate Shade Smooth in edit mode. For variation I added a displacement modifier. In the textures tab I can show you the settings for the displacement cloud texture. Size is 1.87, depth is 2 and nubla 0.03. Depth and nubla are the default values. Since we are already in this area I can show you the simpler solution for the smaller lava falls. The wall is mostly covered by smoke simulation. So I decided to cover the wall with hexagon shaped pillars. You can create a hexagon by adding a circle and reduce the number of vertices to 6. Press F to insert a face and extrude the form. Create pillars of random height and put them in front of the wall. By observation I get the shape of a main plateau. I started with a plane and it scaled it along the x-axis. In edit mode I extrude the edges and form the plateau. I set a loop cut in the center and extrude it up. There are some rock ledges randomly distributed at the side. Add a loop cut at the side, extrude the face and lower the outer edge. Now we add variation to the vertices on the surface. We move them randomly up and down. Add more loop cuts and add a first subdivision surface modifier with level 2. Set the mode to simple and apply the modifier. Now we switch to sculpt mode. Select the draw brush and lower the strength. Now add some details to the surface. Hard edges can be smoothed with a smooth brush. A shortcut to the smooth brush for any brush is shift plus left click. The next step is to add details to the edges. The edges of a plateau are visible because the plateau itself is dark and the lava from below is glowing red. In the scene we have a huge contrast between the edge, so we need some details here. Switch to edit mode and select the edge with shift alt. Unfortunately Blender stops the selection at every corner, so repeat the process on each side. Now bevel the edges with ctrl b. One bevel edge will be enough. Go to object data properties and add a vertex group. Assign all selected vertices to the group and lock the group. Rename the group to edges. Return to object mode and go to modifiers. Add another subdivision surface modifier with mode simple. Add a displacement modifier and select the texture from the spike displacement. Select the vertex group edges. Increase the strength and apply smooth shading. I used a similar process for the basin but with less detail because it is more in the background. I started with a plane and in edit mode I subdivided the plane 10 times. Select the vertices in the center as shown and activate proportional editing. I lowered the selection with GZ and as you can see the adjacent vertices are also affected. The circle shows the range of influence of the operation. You can adjust the size of a circle with your mouse wheel. I stop editing the basing for this tutorial, but you should add more details. We continue with adding a subdivision surface modifier. 
you can keep the default setting since the corners are outside of the camera field of view. I also added a displacement modifier with a wave texture. I switched to texture panel. For this displacement, I chose marble. The pattern is sharp, second base thin, type soft and size 0.35. The other values are default values, depth 2, turbulence 5 and nubbler 0.03. Don't forget to activate shade smooth in object mode. Now let's model the pillars. I will show you how to model the complex pillar in the center. You can adapt the method for the other ones. We start again with a cube and scale it up. Then scale it in that direction. Maybe it's a little bit thick, so I scale it down in y direction. In edit mode, I set 4 vertical loop cuts and 5 horizontal loop cuts. Back in object mode, I add a cylinder and scale it up and rotate it 90 degrees around the x-axis. All you need to do now is to move the cylinder so to the side and apply the boolean operation difference. Add a boolean modifier for the cube and select the first cylinder and apply the modifier. Repeat the process with a second cylinder and delete both. Add a level 3 subdivision surface modifier, go to edit mode and slide a few edges on the top to the center to bevel the left edge. Then add the displacement modifier with our textures for the spike. If you get strange results like this, apply the transformation with Ctrl A. As always, activate shade smooth. I show you the geometry of the other pillars. They are all similar. For the pillar in the back, I used a boolean operation with a huge cylinder. I forgot to tell you, increase the strength of the displacement to 7. For the small pillar in front, I would decrease the strength to 5. Now let's talk about the lava cracks in the foreground. For more details, I used a subdivision surface modifier with level 4 and a displacement modifier with a cloud texture with default values. But I activate color ramp and the black slider is at position 0.338. When I deactivate the subdivision surface modifier, you, you can see that I used smooth shading and the geometry is very simple. I will show you how to model one segment. Start with a plane move one edge up, extract it down, extract it to the side, move up and down again. Select the edges on one side and extrude it in random direction. You can also rotate some loops. To flatten the crack at the end, <coughs> select the upper vertex and then the lower vertex and press M for merge and choose at last. If you need more geometry in the center, add some more loop cuts. That's all for the geometry. If you want to know how to create a shader for the basin, this video might be interesting for you.